After a long day of work, it's just time for me to change into my pajamas and chill and watch some YouTube. First, I've got to change the. Hey yo, what the? F <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time to just watch some TV. Hmm, which video? Oh, that one. How is this thumbnail so good? What? Oh my gosh. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe I could try doing that. Ooh, this guy looks like he knows how. I'm just gonna type this in and enter. Hmm, I'm gonna go check my comments. Um, oh, I got a new comment. It says, I subscribe to you. You deserve it. And also, how do you make your thumbnails? Hmm. Anyways, all jokes aside, I'm gonna show you how I make my thumbnails, which I think are pretty good. Also, I learned how to do this from a different YouTuber, so I'll give him a uh, thing right there. Thank you. But I do some things different than what he does in that video, so I'm gonna show you how I do that today. Step one, before you go onto your computer to start editing stuff, First, you obviously need the photo of your monkey. Now, if you have the camera mod, you're you're set. But if you an Oculus and you don't have a camera mod, it, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Now this here is what I see. So inside like my headset. See, this is a little camera and that's me. So on the camera, you would click misc and green, green screen. I know it looks kind of weird on here, but on the camera, it looks normal. Now, back to the camera view. Once you've got the green screen enabled, just go inside and then pose for whatever you wanna do. So just for this example, I'm just gonna, um, totally I'm not taking this from camera. So just pose and take a screenshot. Now you wanna find your background image. So just go to whatever map you wanna go to or just take whatever photo you wanna take. I'm gonna take my photo right here. So all you gotta do is just keep it on the screen and take a screenshot. Now that you have those two photos, I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have the camera mod. How to just do it on plain Oculus. So now I'm in first person, as you can see. But there's, there's a few ways to do this. First is you can use a mirror like this and just take your photo here. Thing is, is that your cutout of your bunkie is not gonna look as good as if you were on there. But obviously you probably don't have a camera mod if you're doing it this way. So I think the best way is to either do it in the mirror, or you can have someone with you, and if they have your cosmetics, but make them wear your cosmetics. And then let's just pretend that this guy is me. So then I would just stand and he would pose, and I'd take a screenshot. And then just do the same and take your background image again. All right, now that we're done in Gorilla Tag, we gotta get to editing, my favorite. Okay guys, so now you should be on Google Chrome, and you wanna type in, Photo P. And now that you're on here, click open from computer. And if this shows up, just reject all because they don't need to. Open from computer and put in put in your background image. Don't put in your um, monkey photo. You can't see my files right now, but don't put in the monkey photo. Put in the background image. So this is my background image right here. Now, you want to make this background pop. So to do that, go to image adjustments brightness and contrast turn up the brightness and turn down the contrast a bit sorry i'm gonna have to clear my throat a lot because like i have like a throat infection um adjustments again so after you do brightness and contrast go to hue and saturation and turn up the saturation if you want it to be a bit more colorful so i'll do about here and the lightness and eh, i would leave the lightness the same to be honest or maybe at like two okay now you have this now if there are some things that you want <clears throat> to crop out or maybe make it look a bit better like this you can see the little leaderboard when i was talking so to cover that up go to the eyedropper and then i drop the green there click on the pen and just color over what you want to get rid of oops oh yeah Pr press press ctrl z if you made a mistake to undo it okay there we go and then i also would like to get rid of the text on here so i'm just gonna grab that again 
and then just now you don't have to do this this is just what i want to do to make it look a bit better you can go back to image and just adjust it a bit more if you want to make it just make it look good it's like shadows and highlights you can change this i'll do about there usually you want it to be kind of bright though so that people will well click on it and visible and this clear it makes it look clearer like that so I'll do about that just kind of guess you don't really need to do anything this color setting is nice though because it makes it pop a bit more now you have a really really nice background now you want to add in your monkey so open another tab and go remove B oh, BG just like this Upload image, and then upload your monkey, which you can see there. Now you can see this is my monkey, and it completely gets rid of him. Now, download, and then up here, just hold it down and drag it into Photopea, just like this. And now look at that, you have your monkey. And I know right now, it does not blend in or look good at all. So, I'm going to fix that. Put him where you want to, make him the size you want to. And now, we're gonna get to editing. So go again to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and turn, turn things up again. So make him, I like to turn up contrast on my monkey cause it makes him just look better. And then maybe go to like, uh, hue and saturation again. Don't mess with you, actually. That's, uh, that messes things up. Turn up the saturation a bit, but not too much, because then it looks like that. So, turn up lightness. Uh, actually, I don't think, yeah, lightness doesn't really matter. Okay, now, I know this still looks like garbage, but just watch. Okay, so now if you want to put in, now we're still not done with this monkey. Now we're going to right click on this, blending options, go down to, and look at all these settings. Like these are, this is the most, this is the best tool. Click drop shadow. And now you can see this is, and you can change the angle here. So I'm going to make him like this. And you can change the spread, the size. I like to keep the spread so that it slowly bur blurs out. Make the size a bit bigger, turn up the opacity. And now look at that. Also, use this tool to zoom in. There is lots of green. Now, if you want to get rid of that, go to the eraser and just very very carefully all you gotta do is just cut out all the green there alrighty now I know that you can still see some green shadows but if you do want to make this not happen oh a bit too zoomed out what you can do is you can, I mean, but look at it from this distance. It looks perfect. But anyways, the first thing I want to do is make him bigger. Now, you need, to make him bigger, you need to make sure transform controls is on. And then just drag it. And that's a bit too big, actually. And just like that. And if you want it, if you just want to get like a good picture of what it looks like, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Now that you have this, I'm gonna show you how to give your monkey some shadows. Which I actually learned this from um, that guy that I mentioned earlier, so thanks to him. Google, search up transparent. Not background, just transparent. 
images and then you want to find one like this so it has no it should be it should look like white on this side but then once you click on it it should have the checkered pattern that means that it's actually transparent this one's not transparent this one's not transparent this one's not transparent anything that shows the checkered pattern before is not transparent if it's white and then it turns checkered it's transparent I I would do this one though because it's the best hold it drag it and drop it and fit it to the screen or actually it doesn't need to fit into the screen just make it so that it covers up the entire thing now you can zoom in and make sure that you are s selecting the transparent do not select your monkey select transparent be on a uh, black and then again make sure you're under the transparent photo and draw over draw over everywhere where you want a shadow I want a shadow here and here and also put them underneath the um, chin and the arm make sure to always put it underneath the arm I'll put some there because there that's where there should be a shadow some down there some at the joints and then just like some I guess on the hat now I know this doesn't look anything like a shadow right now but trust me go to filter blur Gaussian blur set it to 16 or actually set it to whatever you want I like 16 but I think actually for what I did I think I'm gonna go a bit lower or higher look at this look at how good this looks now your monkey looks 3d look at that and also now you might notice it's a bit dark up here so to erase stuff all you need to do is take the eraser tool erase over what you don't want and I know it doesn't look good and then just redo the blur so go back to Gaussian blur and turn it back up to what you wanted I think I did this I don't know what I did but I'm gonna do this and look at this look at how good this looks <laughs> now you have a 3d monkey a nice looking background but we're still missing one more thing we are missing text so go here and you always need text you always need props and stuff like that so first let's do text click the text and then drag it to the area where you want it so i guess i'm gonna put it here type in and then type in what you want to be there so i'm gonna say how to make a thumbnail now that you've got this you want to click on the text go to size and turn it up to about all right there we go perfect now i have my text right here now if you want to uh, move it around and just do this and personally I want to put it partially inside I like to put it partially inside your monkey now I know it doesn't look like it right now but on the side here hold it down and put it underneath your monkey and now your monkey is over top of it see how the monkeys above the text now you want to just change your text to what you want so i'm gonna do i guess i'll do like a gray like this yeah and now we're gonna add even more to this uh text go so again go to blending options
Oh, sorry. Make sure that you're on the text. Blending options. Drop shadow. Now look at that. Even It looks even better. So you want to click on drop shadow so you can adjust it. And I'm actually going to put the drop shadow... Oh, well, the drop shadow has to, goes the same way. So I'm going to put it just like that. I'm going to change it to look how, how I want it to. Just like that. Perfect. Now, there is still more that we can do. Okay. Now that you've got your, um... Uh... Uh... Thing. Hey, yo! Put it over your monkey so that it looks better. And then I'm just going to make my monkey hold it. But I am going to shrink it a bit because it's kind of big. That's what she said. Okay, now I have my gun uh, weapon. And I'm just going to change it again a bit. And look at that. Now my monkey has a gun. And now I'm also going to steal this from... Um, now I'm going to make the gun shoot. So I'm just going to do gun like shoot flame or whatever. I got McDonald's. Oh, this is good. All right, so. There we go. Look at that. Look at that thumbnail. That is a 10 out of 10. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, and just in case you already don't know how to do this, I'm just gonna file, export as, JPEG. Turn the quality, turn everything up because you want this thing to be really nice looking. Alright. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Your phone ringing. Big boy, come pick up your phone. Why you no pick up your phone? Your phone ringing. Your phone going to go to voicemail. Goodbye.